In this video, I'm going to talk about a pretty new project called OL Network. This is an open decentralized fork of DM, so a code base built by Facebook at one point and then basically they abandoned the project, but out of that project came a smart contract language called Move, which is currently used by Aptos and Sui. So the community behind OL decided to take that and start building on that and building in a way that decentralized anyone can join, anyone can mine. So you might be aware of Aptos, we may be Starcoin as well, which is also using uh, Move uh, language. And in this video, I'm going to talk more about OL. L or zero L. So the only thing is that uh, it's really truly experimental yet. So nothing here is financial advice, purely educational content. So you do everything at your own risk. So let's get started with the website first. Uh, this is uh, this is the, the main website, zero uh, L dot network. The link will be down below in the description as well. Uh, truly decentralized, truly community governed, open source fork of DM. Uh, there's a wallet. Uh, you can download the wallet on Mac and Windows those and then you will have to establish your identity by going to Discord and basically uh, joining there uh, and then asking to your for your wallet to be put on chain. And as you can see, OL is a new layer one blockchain protocol, open permissionless community govern, state of the art blockchain technology with truly decentralized governance, uh, very early on still, but there's a lot of traction being gained recently and there's a one uh, thread on uh, on X on Twitter that I'm going to show you in a moment that really discusses well the entire history be, uh, beyond and behind uh, OL network. So the idea here is that everything should be open uh, using the move smart contract language, which is uh, really great and fast and uh, very similar to Rust. This is basically a language based on Rust. So uh, if you code it in Rust, you should be able to uh, code in move as well. Uh, you can see the technology here if you click on the top of the uh, website. As far as I can tell, the community is working on a new website, which will be much cooler, and also a bunch of other changes as well. Uh, so at a glance, you, you can see here that origin code base being DM, the code from Facebook, you have programming language Rust, smart, con like, smart contract language being Move, uh, consensus like li Libra, BFT, uh, civil resistance delay towers, and hashing algorithm SHA-256. Uh, this is more about technology. If you want to read about it, this is the story of uh, Libra DM platform being abandoned by Facebook and then uh, the team here taking over, the community taking over here uh, and you have a smart contract uh, language called Move that's being used. I have an entire video about how Move is different from Solidity, for example, uh, if you're more interested in a coding part. Now, if you're more interested right now in, a, in, in buying part, that's also interesting because you can't really buy it on any exchange right now. The only way to buy is by going OTC and there's a website again purely experimental beta you do it at your own risk but there's an uh, 0lswap.com the link will be down below in the description that allows you to buy and sell the tokens and basically this is OTC you have to log in with your email uh, and then you deposit USDT on Ethereum mainnet once you deposit you'll be able to buy Libra tokens, they're currently uh, at $21 million market cap, uh, which is very small, small when you think about different blockchains. But of course, this is so experimental that it's super risky. It can all go to zero. Uh, so you do it at your, your own risk. You have buy and sell offers, as you can see here. Uh, also, you can join as a miner. Uh, you can mine with the wallet. Uh, there's a light miner in the wallet. So this is something to be done here. Now let's get to the thread I've mentioned here. We're going to uh, go with the thread by Rocky Balboa here on Twitter, uh, which basically was the first big account to mention Libra because that, that, that's the name of the token. Uh, the, the network is uh, OL network and the token is Libra or Libra. And this is an interesting token. Uh, so as I've mentioned, he, he starts with a story about how uh, the code was released in 2020, abandoned basically uh, after some legal legal challenges uh, to the code. Uh, so by the December of 2020, it was already uh, shut down. 2022 uh, for sure, uh, shut down. Facebook shut down its Novi uh, team that was in charge of the DM development. Uh, but basically, two months later, part of the team uh, was already in Sui and other part was already in Aptos. Uh, so those were the 
previous employees of Meta slash Facebook that decided to work on the same code base. Not leave it alone, but have it here. Uh, also, this is where 0L network comes from. Uh, this is forked and worked on removing the bad elements of Libra and introducing good elements of the OL policy since 2020. So that was the beginning, uh, basically around the same time as Aptos and uh, SWE. So part of the community was working on a project already for quite some time. Uh, however, it hasn't been really launched since uh, November 23. So it's already a couple of months. Uh, we're in January right now, but it's already a couple of months and uh, it hasn't really uh, got so much attention as the other projects, which were heavily financed by, by the VCs like Aptos and Sui. Uh, here to some extent Starcoin, but Starcoin is also much, much smaller so we are here when it comes to the historical milestones. Now, about the technology, as you can see, uh, Rocky Balboa writes about uh, how uh, how the team took a uh, call from uh, Libra DM and decided to rework everything. Uh, they inherited the, the move smart contract language uh, and decided to change some of them. So uh, adding things like civil resistance, uh, uh, added a bunch of other things that made everything easier. Uh, so this is pretty, pretty cool, especially if you're on the developer side. Uh, altogether, they added like 40,000 new lines of code to the code base, not including changes and code removal. So this is the, uh, this is the, um, uh, in, in total, this is the summary of what, uh, what changes were made, like removing the root account, uh, delay towers, hot upgrade, validator stats, onboarding of accounts. Uh, so accounts are not created permissionlessly. So this is one interesting stuff. You really have to go to Discord at this point uh, and you have to have one validator uh, to uh, onboard uh, your account. So this is where this onboarding comes from. This is pretty new. Uh, and then you have also move VM changes, auto pay, web monitor, terminal explorers, and a lot of other stuff as well. So if you want uh, want to understand more technical side, uh, here you go. I also will include the link to the uh, Rocky Balboa thread down below in the description if you want to. And here's, I think the biggest thing is that uh, it's basically community driven. So community experiments with what they can implement. There's no VC, uh, no private sale, no pre-sale, basically just the people working on the project that decided to launch everything. Uh, and it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cool. So as you can see, uh, a lot of work has been done so far uh, and they also have the entire roadmap for the future. Here's the, uh, the, the list of the total supply. So current supply is uh, 9 billion uh, coins out of 100 billion coins. Uh, basically those coins are being mined. Some of them are being burned also in the transactions. Market cap was $10 million at the time of writing. Currently it's at $20 million. Um, supply is deflationary. The validators get their rewards and they can either donate them to community wallets or burn them. Uh, that's how deflation works. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, so uh, it's all about decentralization here. You can buy Libra OTC. This is what I've mentioned. This is the link, uh, zeroiswap.com. So that was a community initiative, not an official open Libra swap. So you have to be careful, of course. Uh, how to buy it, basically, uh, connect MetaMask at USDT, place OTC order, and then you can withdraw everything to a Carpa wallet once you go through the onboarding process on Discord. Uh, so this is pretty, pretty cool. So for now, we don't have any kind of listings, not on the centralized exchanges. Uh, probably at some point that might get initiated if the project gets enough traction. That was the same case with Kanto, which was another community driven project, uh, which is now training on most of the exchanges. I was talking about Kanto quite a lot. So uh, that project also went through this phase of like uh, being developed purely by community and currently being traded on top exchanges almost everywhere. So probably that's the case or might be the case of, of Libra. So if you're interested in participating in an experimental new project, that might be uh, the moment. Of course, again, there are su substantial risks here at this point uh, because the project is super early on. So there's a comparison here with other move projects. Of course, it doesn't mean that the Libra will reach those kind of market caps, but you can see, look at Aptos and Sui, and you can see that uh, they have very substantial market caps. Uh, so yeah.
uh, Rocky Balboa gives here different uh, di different uh, predictions. Uh, I won't comment on, on them. Of course, everything depends on like the community, the team, uh, and what will happen next. So this is basically it about the uh, about the OL network. If you're interested, the links will be down below in the description. Uh, it's definitely worth having a look. Super early. You can't buy it uh, anywhere on an exchange, so the only place is OTC, which usually means a good sign, unless, of course, the project uh, loses all the attention and goes to zero, which can always be the case. Again, nothing here is financial advice. You do it on your own uh, risk. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.